It seems as though almost every single week we have some new lithium iron phosphate battery innovation. Here's the latest one. It's really interesting because probably not a lot of people are even aware of the fact that this company even makes lithium iron phosphate batteries. I wasn't aware. However, They've just increased the energy density of LFP batteries by another 20%. My friends, the technology that we're seeing this year is truly staggering. And I predict that by the end of next year, LFP batteries will have taken up at least 80% of the worldwide battery market for good reason. Reasons like what I'm about to share with you. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. GAC has just unveiled its lithium iron phosphate battery technology, claiming energy density increases of 20%. Now, you'd be forgiven if you were thinking, well, GAC, I didn't know they made batteries. I thought they made cars. Well, you're right, but they do both. GAC is actually one of the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturers, Chinese car company. They make the GAC, the Aon brand, and Aon have a range of different electric cars. One of those has a range of 1,000 kilometers. And by the way, it's an SUV, which is crazy. That is not using lithium iron phosphate batteries. Though. That's using their lithium ternary battery, which by the way, is incredible as well. They've had a breakthrough with those batteries, achieving energy density that about 300 watt per kilo at the cell level. But to me, the battery technology that is much more relevant to you to me, to most of the people in the world, is affordable batteries like the LFP battery that GAC have just successfully finished developing and are planning on putting into mass production by the end of this year. So what is so revolutionary about this technology? Well, there's actually a few different things. Put them all together and you've got one incredible battery. The technology in these batteries enables them to achieve fast charging rates of 2C and above the lifetime of more than 1.5 million kilometers. They're saying around 1.6 million plus kilometers, guaranteed. So you've probably been hearing the same thing from BYD, lithium ion batteries, lithium ion phosphate batteries from BYD, same thing. I mean, it's a no brainer. You have to be crazy to want any other technology if you can get LFP batteries with the kind of energy density we're hearing about now that's coming out of China and then will be mass manufactured talking first quarter of next year, second quarter of next year. Really, really exciting stuff. It's going to completely revolutionize the industry. It's going to make electric cars more affordable with longer ranges and that will just keep on, keep on, keep on keeping better, getting better and better and better. Now, GAC, they actually make some pretty impressive electric cars, but this battery technology, in my view, is probably even more important. What will this mean? This means that it's possible theoretically to do two things, right? A GAC lithium ion phosphate battery could give your car a range of a thousand kilometers. That's never happened before. The same thing conveniently is now a possibility based on CATL's newest lithium ion phosphate batteries coming out at the end of this year, which will of course, Tesla, CATL have a partnership. Therefore, theoretically, Tesla should benefit from that as well. So will you then of course. Anyhow, the other technological feat of these batteries is the 2C part. You're probably thinking, what's 2C? Well, I'll tell you in just a second. Now, this technology in their new LFP batteries from GAC is based on microcrystalline technology that claims it enables a 13.5% increase in mass energy density and a 20% increase in volumetric energy density of cells compared to traditional lithium iron phosphate cells. Now, the technology also adds a higher capacity second phase cathode microcrystalline active material to the traditional lithium ion phosphate chemistry system. This improves both the energy density and more importantly, I think as well, or just as importantly, the low temperature performance, fast charging and lifetime of the battery. And the accuracy of the battery management system, says cnervpost.com, is significantly improved, meaning what? I mean, if your battery management system can control temperature better, the batteries will actually last a lot longer. The technology allows the battery to see an increase in its available capacity of about 10% at minus 20 degrees Celsius. 
and allows for charging rates of 2C and above 2C. Plus what I said before, the lifetime of more than 1.5 million kilometers. Now you're wondering what 2C is, good reason. Most people haven't heard it before. It's actually a reference to the charge multiplier. 2C means the battery could theoretically be charged in only half an hour. What? 3C means the battery can be fully charged in a third of an hour or 20 minutes. So GAC is saying you can charge this battery from an empty to full in 30 minutes. That would make it, as far as I'm aware, the fastest charging lithium iron phosphate battery in the world. Now, the great news is that it's not some theoretical conceptual idea. Chinese battery companies in particular are coming up with new technology and they're implementing it as fast as they can. This new technology will be applied in GAC's latest electric vehicles as early as the first quarter of next year. For those of you unaware, GAC has done some other pretty cool stuff recently. In March of last year, they launched their magazine battery technology, saying that they achieved for the first time a lithium ternary pack. The lithium ternary pack is like, you know, NMC chemistry, say nickel, metal, nickel, manganese, cobalt, or, or NCMA chemistry. There's lots of different chemistries, but essentially they're the type of batteries that are not lithium ion phosphate, but they're used in lots of different electric cars. They just call them a ternary battery because generally the cathode will use some combination of silicon or cobalt or something like that, whereas lithium ion phosphate batteries don't use any of that at all. Now, they said for the first time ever, their batteries, when they're pricked in a test called the pinprick test, don't set themselves on fire. And they also said that that would mean it is the safest lithium ternary battery ever created. After that news came out in April of last year, GAC unveiled its sponge silicon negative electrode battery technology. This allows the energy density of the cell to exceed 280 watts per kilo and vehicle range to go up to 1,000 kilometers, allows battery volume to be reduced by 20% and weight by 14% at the same power level. And the battery range therefore can reach 650 kilometers, even in extremely low temperature conditions of up to minus 20 Celsius. In January of this year, GAC then went on to announce the launch of the Aeon LX Plus. This uses that battery technology we just talked about to provide a range of 1,000 kilometers with a 144.4 kilowatt hour large capacity battery pack. Now that model costs 70,000 US dollars. However, you can get the model with 650 kilometers of range for only around 42,000 US dollars. Now GAC is saying that this new ternary battery pack not the lithium iron phosphate battery pack I talked about earlier in this video, but this new ternary pack will achieve an energy density of 315 watts per kilo by the end of this year, meaning range will be even further than what it was initially predicted to be. In addition to that, they're saying these batteries will be in mass production by the end of this year. What is crazy about this is the fact that GAC is really just a niche little battery manufacturer. And yet, they appear to be at the absolute forefront of new battery technology. Both their LFP battery cells and their ternary battery cells are providing incredible energy density and showing us that the future of the electric revolution is actually just so much better than we ever could have predicted. We're going to see more and more of these developments over the next few years. And not, and these are, I mean, these are concepts that are not vaporware. This is not one of those videos on YouTube and there's many of them talking about the latest, greatest, amazing battery, which is never going to happen. This is a real product being built by a real company, which you may be able to purchase and own within the next year or two. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.